Hello, my name is Abby Holland, and I am a Senior Business Intelligence Technical Analyst here at SFM. I've been in the insurance industry for 13 years and have my MBA in Business Intelligence, as well as the Chartered Property Casualty Underwriter designation. Here at SFM, I work in the analytics department where we gather data, perform analysis, and provide insights to our organization. The data I will be discussing today is comprised of SFM data, along with some information related to cultural perceptions and attitudes towards risky driving behaviors from the Traffic Safety Culture Index. Why are we discussing motor vehicle accidents? Well, motor vehicle accidents are expensive and often litigated, further driving up costs. Here are some statistics we've pulled from SFM's lost time claims from accident years 2019 to 2023. The average cost of motor vehicle accidents is two and a half times more expensive than all other claims. 40% of motor vehicle accidents are litigated compared to just 15% for all other claims. And these litigated motor vehicle accidents are three times the cost of non-litigated motor vehicle accidents. So it's key that we review ways in which to reduce the occurrence of these claims and mitigate the severity. Let's switch gears and look at cultural perceptions of risky driving behaviors. Here we have survey results from the 2022 Traffic Safety Culture Index compiled by the AAA Foundation for Traffic Safety. This shows the percentage of participants that perceived each type of behavior to be dangerous the percentage of participants who perceived apprehension to be likely, and the percentage of participants who actively engaged in that behavior in the past 30 days. The first behavior, driving after drinking alcohol, had 94% of respondents perceive it to be dangerous, and over two-thirds believed that apprehension for drinking and driving was likely. In the past 30 days, 7% of respondents still engaged in the behavior despite these perceptions, but the active engagement rate is lower than others we will be looking at, indicating a strong cultural impact to the number of people who are willing to engage in this behavior. Texting, emailing, or reading on a handheld device shows a similar rate of perceived danger at 93%. Yet the percentage of those who perceived apprehension to be likely is down to just 27%. We see that the behavior is more actively engaged with just over one third of respondents participating in this behavior in the past 30 days. This indicates a cultural awareness of the danger, but engagement in the behavior persists. Driving 15 miles per hour over the speed limit on a freeway has the lowest perceived danger at 47%. It has a 63% perceived apprehension rate and 50% of engagement by survey participants. This shows that culturally, speeding on the freeway is perceived to be less dangerous, and despite the perceived likelihood of apprehension, drivers are willing to risk the behavior. Overall, we can see how cultural perceptions are playing a role in risky driving activities, which can contribute to motor vehicle accidents. Thank you for watching. You can find more educational work comp videos at sfmic.com slash webinars.